In this video, I'm gonna show you how we can create this dual tone effect in Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey what's up guys, Thrill here and as you can see this is the final output and now to create this effect I will be using this photo that I found on davinta.com and if you want to use it the download link is in video description so feel free to use it. Now as you can see the image it has very little background and it has a dark background so for this effect it's important you need pretty darkish background otherwise it won't work that good. So to create this effect first of all let's go and create a new blank layer from here. Uh, and select your brush tool and in the opacity make sure it's somewhere around like 25-30% so yeah 22 is fine and the color has to be completely black now I'm gonna pay, uh, do a little bit of brush stroke here so we can get rid of this uh, tiny amount of background which I don't want uh, I think now this looks much better let's reduce the opacity just a tiny bit yes Okay, so to create the color effect, first of all, go to your adjustment layers here and select a solid color. In the solid, go and select the brightest red you can select and hit OK. Now in your blending option, go and change it to subtract here. Now as you can see, it's actually looking cyan because cyan is exact opposite color of the red. So since we had red as original, the subtract will be cyan. Uh, after that, we only want it on half of the image. So for that, go and select the layer mask of your solid. Then go and select this gradient tool here, right click and gradient tool. In the gradient, uh, make sure you have this first option selected, this. And in uh, colored preset, go and select foreground to background, hit OK. Now in the foreground, this is really important. So make sure that this is white and this is black. After that, let's zoom in a little bit. Now on the layer mask here, I'm gonna go and do a little bit of stroke like this. Now don't do it all the way from here. It's, it's, it, it fades way too much. So go and do it a little bit like this. Keep doing it. It will take many tries, so don't worry about it. So I think this looks pretty good and now we can do the red color. So for that again go to your adjustment layer and select solid. This time you have to select opposite color of red. So I'm gonna go and select a really bright cyan. Uh, hit OK and then gonna change the blend mode to subtract. So see now it's really nice red color. But it's on entire image. So just like last time go and select the layer mask uh, here. Uh, the same gradient, same option, everything is same. And this time you have to go and do a stroke from this side like this as you can see now keep doing it until you get the exact output that you are looking for so the colors are looking pretty good and we can finally do some adjustment so for that go and create a new blank layer from here then go and press ctrl alt shift and e so it will create a jpg inside photoshop as you can see of the same image after that go to your image adjustment and here go and select shadows and highlights now if you don't see these options uh, it might look something like this so just go and click on show more option and you have it so make the shadow zero and increase your highlights here and turn down the radius so you can see what is going on so i'm going to turn down the radius and adjust my tonal width uh, so it can take a little bit trial and error so take your time so as you can see now the colors look much better uh, and then go and hit OK. After that go and create another blank layer from here then press shift backspace uh, and here go and select 50% gray and hit OK. Now change its blending mode to soft light so temporarily you can't see anything so go to your dodge and burn option here right click and select dodge tool. In the dodge tool go wherever you see these highlights like uh, this on her nose. So paint on that. My mode is highlight and uh, value is somewhere around like 10-11%. So go and paint where you see the highlights. After that uh, you have to do the same on the eyes. So I'm gonna first paint on the entire eye uh, like this. And after that make your brush really smaller tiny bit and then go and paint 
on this portion carefully don't overdo it uh, just like that now zoom out and if I turn it on and off you can see the difference see now it looks much better so everything's done and it's time for final color adjustment so for that go to your adjustment layer here and select selective colors in the selective color first of all let's go to red and in the blacks make it plus 7 so we have a little bit more punch in the red then go to your science and make this black value somewhere around like 10-15% so I think 15% looks pretty good after that it's time for your neutrals in the neutrals I'm gonna make it plus 20-27 somewhere like this uh, yeah I think 26 looks pretty good 24 fine and in the blacks I'm gonna go and make it somewhere around like minus 6 and finally let's go to the blacks and in the blacks simply just go and make it somewhere around like minus 8 uh, you can also stretch it. Let's try minus 10. Yep, that looks pretty good So the final effect is done and you can do some sharpening so for that again Go and create a new blank layer and just like last time press ctrl alt shift and E So you have JPG inside Photoshop and Then go to filter other and here go and select high pass now I'm selecting 5 but uh, the number will depend on your image so I'm using 5 hit ok and then go and change the blending mode to hard light so now if I turn it on and off now let's zoom in so you can see the difference so now if I turn it on and off you can see now it looks much better so just like this we started from here and now we are here it's easy fast and also looks really cool so I hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions uh, feel free to ask me in comment section below plus if you want to check out more tutorials by me you can click on any of these boxes and you can also subscribe to my channel so every time i upload a new video you will get the update so till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop